I'm not even gonna say it. I'm like, uh, but my, my my brain goes too deep in this. Oh, I'll man. get censored off of YouTube. Anyway, welcome back, Legion of Followers, to episode three of Mario Three, which is free for you and me. Oh, freestyle, baby! Boom, chicka pow! How uh, are you, Legion of Followers? Steve, how are you today? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. It's uh, it's Saturday morning again. We're recording. I didn't We're fresh. Even, I didn't even try to rhyme that, and it, and it came out of the rhyme. Uh, but no. Um, We're recording. Saturday morning. We're busy recording. That's all oh, I got. Oh, lordy. Uh, but no. Um, oh, shoot. There we go. Oh, that's right. It's examples like that that make me question why we missed our calling as hip-hop hip -hop artists. Hey, speak for yourself, bro. I can write some rhymes. Um, just ask my uh, stream regulars. I mean, you can ask Mort the Magnificent about his uh, his <laughs> street true. cred. That is true. Mort's got but some, he's my alter ego. Got some so bars. It's not really me. Yeah. Yeah. Um. By the way, uh, Legion of Followers, uh, <laughs> make sure you're part of the Legion of Followers because uh, the statistics show the majority of you who are watching these videos, which we appreciate the watching. And love. And the love. But uh, uh, the majority of you are not actually following. Hey! Uh, so, uh, make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button. It's totally yeah, free. Yeah, because when we say Legion of Followers, we're talking about you. You right now, listening. Yes, all of you that are That's listening. That's you. In our hearts, you're in the, the Legion of Followers. Uh, but as far as YouTube is concerned, you are not. Uh, we want you to be in the real the Legion real, of followers. Real. Anybody can just take them. Anybody. <laughs> <laughs> the swirling motion. I was really happy yeah. that that wound up in that video. <laughs> For sure. I love how you put that in there. I was like, oh man, I was so glad that like YouTube didn't shit on that clip. Yeah. All <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, I'm. Hopefully, uh, we'll be good on this next week. We. we uh, this will come out after uh, the next episode of Boca, but. Um, it's like we're speaking from the future right um we are in a sense but uh now um we recorded the newest episode of uh Boca yesterday and um actually is there anything over here i didn't get um but uh and i blew steve's mind he really did actually uh and you'll see, see that in a the episode, broken clock yeah. is right twice a day yeah, why don't have, sometimes why don't have I have moments of genius every sometimes. now and then. Yeah, uh, yeah. Adam really earned his kudos yesterday. So um, had a great. Time I don't like to brag, Legion of Followers. I was born this way. <laughs> We're going to be hearing about this all day. <laughs> 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 yeah. So uh, what would you think about that? That was pretty impressive oh, observation. Steve, there, I said Steve? that <laughs> smart thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I was going back and I, okay. Uh, those of you who are out there uh, in the Legion, out of the Legion, whatever, uh, we do go back and rewatch these episodes. I mean, if nothing else, just to make sure that, uh, oh, you know, it's, it's good to critique yourself, you know, it and is. to uh, assess your craft. And uh, you want to uh, be putting out a quality product and whatnot. And um, so I'll go back and I'll watch these episodes. Well, um, one thing that I that I found really funny was uh, when I was pointing out uh, in the first part of this series how Shigeru Miyamoto uh, confirmed that yes, Mario Three is actually a play, something that people had theorized for a long time, and you're like, made some joke about how the budget must be through the roof because of the airships and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I go back and I'm like, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> well, I mean, look at it. This is a pretty elaborate set right here we've got flames coming out mario's risking his life bandit dogs look at that bandit dogs a, <laughs> is that monty mole <laughs> is it a mole i don't know I think, yeah i think it's monty mole that he's forgive me for messing up my cartoon animals <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you ever want to piss off a weeb? Refer to anime as cartoons. <laughs> Call it anime. Anime? Oh my <laughs> gosh! I don't know if I can go that far. They um, will explode. 
it's funny because over uh, the Christmas break, uh, my kids are total weebs, by the way, but uh, I watched so much anime. I mean, I am too, to a degree. Oh, really? Yeah, it will be a little bit. I'm not like, I guess in order to be a weeb, you have to be absolutely obsessed with it. I wouldn't say I'm absolutely obsessed with it, but I'm a fan. Yeah. Oh, you mentioned something about like there was a block. Is this it? Is this what you're referring that's to? That's the one. That's, oh, that's okay. it. Little arrow, point to it in little, the video. Ding. Little arrow, bing. Right there, that's the one. It's funny because I didn't right. even realize. Oh, Larry. That, I didn't even realize that that block was going to be there right then. It's just, oh shit. It's just coincidental that uh, this happened to be the one because I was mentioning the block and then ping, it appears on screen. But, uh, Pyong. Um, Pyong. <laughs> uh, oh, but anyways, yeah, over Christmas, I watched so much anime uh, with, with my kids. Uh, my daughter is really into the show Demon Slayer and the manga and everything. Uh, yeah. That kind of became, I hate that we have to look at this guy's nipples. And if you look really close, you'll notice that uh, the one that's on our left is smaller than the one on the right. So this guy has lopsided nips. And he's like, I've got nipples, Mario. Can you milk me? <laughs> can you milk me? <laughs> <laughs> but I'll I'd, give you a pee wing if you can milk me. Demon Slayer has kind of become our show. Um, and we'll watch it. Together. It's a good show. I like it. it. I mean, I do legitimately enjoy it. But, do uh, you uh, recall the show Inuyasha? I know it by name. Okay. Well, I have a, uh, I made a, a oh, Perler sure. pixel art Inuyasha character. Oh, really? Yeah. You sound so interested. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't know who that is. How the hell am I supposed to be interested? <laughs> well, no, I mean, it just, you sounded like you was, you know, this is the equivalent of Elaine talking to Jerry. I fucking get it, bro. I'll stop talking. <laughs> you know what's funny? We were going to bed last night and <laughs> My wife started telling me about her dream from the night before. And I was like, oh, this no. is exactly the thing that we were talking about. It was like, oh, life imitates oh, art. Oh, yeah, you, can, uh, you can't write that kind of shit. Oh, get over here, you bitch. Oh. One of my moments of comedic genius early in my stream career that has actually been funny to other people than just me. Uh, was I uh, was playing the Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle for Switch. It was one of the earliest. You know, I was like, just thinking about that. I, I remember you. Streamed. Yeah, I remember you streaming that and that being because someone commented on that game recently, and I was like, oh, I remember Adam playing that shit. Okay, where's the mushroom, dude? Which is so weird because it's a, oh, um, it is uh, upper right hand corner. Oh, let's see. Oh shit. <laughs> I think this is. Oh, I think this. Nope. Frick. <laughs> um, here. I was gonna take a stab at it. Nope. <laughs> There's the mushroom. <laughs> this is just giving us even more shorts of me just effing up those stupid <laughs> mini games. <laughs> Make sure to take your ginseng. <laughs> I was kind of scared though. I don't. I was like, I don't want to. We, we've only recently started seeing success on this channel, so yeah. we're desperately trying to keep the good times rolling. <laughs> Right. Oh, got Um I thought about that, and I didn't want to overthink it and be like, "All right, well now I really need to like start thinking about what I say, and I need to start like being more prepared." And I'm like, "But wait a minute, what if me being just the babbling idiot was part of the was part of the gig?" Maybe that's the draw. Yeah, it's like you're like you don't want to wash your socks because the team's on the winning streak, you know? Right. Um, you know, keep being stupid, Adam. Yeah, we we want don't stupid Adam. We don't yourself. want like yeah, smart or prepared want... Adam. No, absolutely not. Do those tubes go to different places? I forget. I think they all go to the same place. Oh, shh. That's, you just try to lay some pipe. <laughs> I love That's that. That's a callback. That's a callback. Uh, so anyway, Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were uh, just one talking of the first that. games that I streamed, which makes no sense because it's definitely a game that I would never stream now. <laughs> <laughs> so it just that shows you how naive I was, I guess, where I'm like, oh, this will be fun. Why the fuck not? Oh, the glory days of streaming when you were too ignorant. Ignorance is bliss. Oh, you know, man. Yeah. Things. 
And it's but, stuff um, like that that people who I think we've kind of talked on this before, so I won't go into it too deeply. But like the people who have never streamed or don't stream will never get because from the outside it looks so damn easy, but right. when you're in it, it's just like, oh, you know, yeah, it's and, mental torture. And you saying that you would never pick this that game now, I totally get that, and I guarantee you, there are some people at least out there that are probably like, why not? It's why not? It's a good game or whatever. Yeah, and it's just like I get what you're saying, but <laughs> no. <laughs> but no. <laughs> there was a, a chain chomp enemy in there. Um, and it was, I think it was huge. Uh, like one of the big enemies. I can't recall because it's been so long. But I made the comment of that, you know, he's so intimidating. He's straight out of Chompton. <laughs> and so I made that into a merch shirt. And I had. Um, oh, that's where I've seen that. Yeah, I had retro mage, retro game mage, uh, uh -huh. make me of of graphic of um, the chain chomp with like the pimp shades on, right? You know that come down, and then it was the it says straight out of Chompton in the graphic, and I was like, this will be a cool shirt. I bet people will like that. And you know what? People actually did like it. It worked. Oh, really? Did it? Wow. Yeah, I had I had like five or six people, some of which that weren't friends and family, you know, or oh, what so. the. That was a victory because, you know, normally whenever I have ideas, I'm, you're slaying this by the I way. I know, right? <laughs> it's uh, like every time, like everything is working out in the absolute worst possible way. <laughs> what the f- And then you timed that perfectly. Yeah. That's a short. That's um, a short, baby. <laughs> but, you know, normally whenever I have these ideas, I'm like, people will love this. This will be great. And then I'll show yeah. several people and like, you know, they give me the sympathy laugh. Like, oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him with his cute little stream ideas. Yep, you'll be famous one day. Oh, you'll make it big time. You'll yeah. be famous. You're such a good boy. Yeah. Unless you're like freaking ninja or something, people aren't going to buy streamer merch. I mean, either that or just nobody wants my stuff, but... But I put it, stuff but out I, there. I could always pass away tragically. That'll sell some of my merch. It always does. <laughs> <laughs> Fake your, fake your own death. I was going to uh, say, yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Well, it's hilarious you mentioned that because this morning I was scrolling through Twitter, uh, which is kind of part of how I just wake up. Um, well, there's this company. What a routine. <laughs> that Right? <laughs> there's this company that's like posted a link to their wares, you know, whatever they were. I forget, like novelty socks or something like that. But it was like, uh, sadly, we're closing down i forget how they said it but basically like hey we're going out of business we're selling oh, I've seen that same letter we're selling all of our stuff real cheap here's the link where you go buy it or whatever and uh oh, i don't get to keep the boot um but uh it just reminded me of like it, it became a trope back in the day but like the whole thing where j whenever sales are down these p places do like a going out of business sale to try to drum up new business that's like oh well we made enough money to uh stay in business stay for a while open. longer so uh screw that we're still gonna sell couches and ottomans <laughs> couches and ottomans i'll see you for a second I must have like completely phased out the first half of that because I thought you were talking about this Nintendo letter that they had sent out to one of these offices that I've seen on Facebook by several people where it was like, we are sorry Shit. to inform you that we're eliminating these, you know, no longer with these positions. And I was like, this is how you get fired in Nintendo. You know? <laughs> it was funny. So that's what I thought you were talking about. But yeah. that too, obviously, with the we're going out of business. Come check out the deal. Buy our stuff while you still can. You missed right. it before, but you don't have to miss it now. Well, remember when Toys R Us went out of business, but oh, then like gosh. it came back and then it went out of business again. <laughs> oh, Gotti, feeling good on a Wednesday. Oh, what? How the hell oh, this I is the one where you gotta you have to run back and get the P power right and fly up. Gotta get the P power. We'll run. just throw down the bucket and have a pee party. <laughs> oh, shay. Oh, no. That's not going to work. You can't make it. Can't you see you can't make it? Come on, baby. It, it, I don't know. I, I'm still... I'll always be like a completionist when it comes to video games. Go, 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 go,
Freaking lame. Whatever's up here better be fucking sweet. I know, right? <laughs> better be something pretty damn cool. Hey, we made it this time, all right. You're gonna have to do the, the victory music. <laughs> well, what is the victory music in your mind? It's the one where you do like the like the super zoom in and like the music plays in the Oh, one up. And... Is that it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> the, the zoom in and the music plays. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Uh-uh. It's like, you know, whenever you make like a clutch play in the Mario, like you zoomed in and it's like you hitting like the three enemies in Zelda at once. And killing oh, the epic maneuver music. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. The, oh shoot that that is oh man a oh, reference no. to one of uh mine and the retro runners uh favorite youtube channels a show called continue uh if you don't watch continue oh my gosh you need to oh, damn it i'm okay. so upset right now this is the beginning these levels get a lot more brutal as you go along. Is this the, is, did I, oh, I just made a loop. Holy. I know. I was wondering what the hell you were doing, but you know, who am I to, to question the retro death row? Right. You need to coin the, oh, you need shit, to be obnoxious about the, the, like Ohio state fans are. I did it's that on not purpose. the retro death row. It's the retro. Death exactly. Row. No, and it's, I, I kind of, a little bit regret having gone with that. Um, I mean, Retro Death has always been my name. Um, but I've even spoken of my uh, regrets toward that as well, just because it's like, I mean, you watch this show, you realize I'm not that serious of a person. And Retro Death Row sounds like such a serious name. No, 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 no don't get that, because I think um, that takes away my pee. It does. It takes your pee. It takes my pee. Save Dad. some pee for the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Garrett. Oh shit, I just doxed him. We're gonna have to. Yeah, you that. did. <laughs> I meant Jeff uh, Ferret. <laughs> Jeff Clarinet. Uh, how am I supposed to do this? Okay. Art Core. Valet. Delay. Oh, Delay. Yeah. Okay. Man, that good. same that same twomp fucked you up last time. Yeah, I know that, Adam. I was here. Oh shit. So did that. Oh. Why are you going backwards again? I don't know. I don't know. It 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 but goads you into going backwards. It's like it practically <laughs> dares you to do it. Oh, I got a one up. I think it's because it doesn't make any sense for them to make it that freaking hard to get a stupid one up. I don't even need that the one up. The retro death row. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, oh, get over here. Let's kill this bitch and get out of here. Let's <gasps> get the fudge out of here. Get the fudge out of here. Oh! You're breaking my coolions. There we go. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, so we didn't go see Fat Brendan Fraser last night. Yeah, you're that good for you, man. Yeah. Well, we talked about it, and I was like, you know what? I was telling Steve that we were going to go see that movie, and he said it was going to be like a cry fest. And she's like, ooh, I don't really know if I'm in the mood for a cry fest after a long day Oh, she work. didn't know that? I no. assume she knew that, and that was, like, why she picked it or something. No, she just picked oh it because, <laughs> it was, well, you know, it was, like, a limited release movie. There was some kind of buzz about it. You know, we've been yeah. trying to go to a, go see a movie every Friday, regardless if it's, like, one that we have been dying to go see just because, like, we like the, the theater experience and stuff uh -huh. like that. So we're like, all right, let's, let's do that. That sounds Boy, good. Boy, James then... Cameron has such a hard on for you guys. <laughs> Have you been reading any of the stuff that he's like, we need cinema. <laughs> like, no. Basically no. like, uh, <laughs> essentially like throwing fits over why people don't go to movies anymore. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> he has the hard on for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he loves the hell out of you guys. Yeah. Adam. Yeah. And Ashley, uh, I almost said your last name. Uh, yeah, he uh, he is big fans uh, of you two. Well, I mean... It's Even though you hated Avatar. <laughs> I wouldn't say I hated it, but it wasn't like, oh, thank God, that was worth every penny, you know? <laughs> Certainly worth the three hours and 15 minutes that this movie is. Yeah. Um, but so, yeah, we picked that movie, and we're like, yeah, why not? We don't know nothing about it. That's half the fun, you know? And then mm -hmm. you were like, cry fest. And we're like, ooh. 
I don't want to. I don't want to cry on a Friday. It's bad Feeling Friday good vibes. on a Friday. So we were like, "You want to go get dinner and get drunk instead?" Yep. Hey, ten out of ten, better plan. Oh. You're right. I got my ass kicked in darts by my wife all night. Yeah. Very emasculating. I'm not really a bar guy. Maybe that's why. But like, I'm, I don't know that I've ever actually played darts. Oh man, I love playing some darts. Well, when that's I come good. up there and visit you, um, yeah, and um, I was gonna say I'm gonna have, have to take our. Your ass. Oh my gosh, uh, our brief affair that we'll never tell anyone about. Um, <laughs> our runaway <laughs> weekend together. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> I almost screwed that up. <laughs> uh, we'll have to go play some darts. Yeah, man. There was actually uh, there's a sports complex. I know I've talked about it before, but it's one of the biggest. Second biggest sports complex in the world, right, is has recently opened two blocks away from my house and they have an arcade in there now mm -hmm. and they have like all these different, you know, like the ski ball s type games, oh, but no. then they got some pinball games and then they've got some arcade cabinet. I haven't actually checked it out yet, mm. but um, it could be sweet that we could uh, we could check out. Ah, right, get away from me. That'd be cool. I'd be down. Yeah. You know I'm always down for some that entertainment Earth. That entertainment Earth store was badass in Kentucky. Taduki suit or not entertainment Earth? It was what was it? Earth to Kentucky. That's what Earth to called. Brent. Do you know what that's about? <laughs> I don't. Oh, it's from Zoolander. For oh, once, wow. I was the one with this. I was going to say you say I movie have references. Your movie quotes. There was some episode yeah. that you were going to remark on that. Um, and then, like, I distracted you again with another conversation, and we never got to it. But you were like, you started it out with, "You always hit me with these movie quotes." And yeah. Then I, <laughs> and I, when I watched the episode, I was like, "Oh, I wish I would have let you finish that thought because I wanted to know that. I wanted to see the end." One up is up here, right? Hell yes. Hell yeah. My wife's over here uh, razzing you for not knowing that that quote's from Zoolander. I think it's up here. Is it up here, or is it the one on the bottom? No, it's two over to the left. Here? Yes. I was, man, I was like literally saying a prayer that that would be wrong. <laughs> it would be wrong. You're like, no, 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 it's two over. And then flip you're it. So <laughs> you're supposed to be on my side. I, I kind of am. I kind of am. <laughs> I switch back and forth. Ayo. Um. Oh, there was one there too. Okay. You know where there wasn't one? The square that you had highlighted. Pyong. Pyong. Oh! I still think that there needs to be a graphic that exists of your last name, Pyong and Shaw. My last name? Yeah. Remember Why my last I name? I told you I was going to make a like a graphic of, of your last name and then Pyong and Shaw like it was an attorney's office. <laughs> I, I, I either that comment totally went past me. You read it on your horrible, stream. I read it on my stream. Oh, see, yeah. yeah. If, oh, on stream. There's no way I'm going to remember that crap. You hear that? Oh, got it. Followers. Uh, okay. So I think it's. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. I think I figured it out. Finally. Everyone out there is like, how could you not have it figured out? Stupid ass. I uh, I was still wouldn't be able to do it. My b hole day. was so clenched right there. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna lose my Tanuki suit. No. Nothing gets you perked up for a Saturday like a nice clenched b hole. Exactly, like a clenched b hole. <laughs> I love a good clenched b hole. <laughs> It's way better than the looser, unclenched version. Head down to Red Lobster, try out the clenched <laughs> b-hole. It's delicious. Sautéed clenched butthole. All you can eat soup, salad, and clenched b-hole. <laughs> and a succulent b-hole bisque. <laughs> He's making a bouillabaisse. Why is that funny? <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> I do not get it. It bothers me <laughs> that they laugh. <laughs> it's hilarious that that's my reaction. But I'm like, no, it bothers me that people laughed at that. Because they're like, oh, that's a joke that makes sense. I do not get it. And it bothers me so much. Yeah, but I mean, I'm sure that that happens in a lot of sitcoms. Where He's like, making a boy, you laugh for no reason. 
I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it's just so freaking frustrating to me. <laughs> I, I'm sure I could find this out, but was all of Seinfeld filmed before a live studio audience or was it like a half and half? Um, like, are we hearing are we hearing genuine laughter during the show <laughs> or uh, is this like a combination of laughter and laugh tracks? I don't know. That's a good question. We may have to research that at some point here. I'm no! Shit. Look at that. I'm doing my co-host duties right now. Die. Um, I have no... I'm in no mood for your shenanigans, Mario Okay, 3. so this says the sitcom was taped in front of a live studio audience. He, in this picture, Seinfeld is seen warming up the crowd before taping an episode. Seinfeld runs through a scene with guest stars Jeremy Piven and Larry Hankin. Hmm. Jeremy Piven, that must have been one of the Jerry episodes. Yeah. Why does the audience clap when Kramer enters? If you have to ask that question, I don't know what to say. <laughs> you know the whole thing about how they... Oh, shit, what? Oh, but then as the, as the character became more popular, the entrance applause grew so prolonged that the cast complained it was ruining the pacing of their scenes. So the directors subsequently asked the audience not to applaud so much when Kramer entered. Yep. <laughs> okay, hold on. Look at this. Okay, this is the end of this level here or whatever. There's you said a pit. That, like, you knew that already. The, about the uh, applause? Yeah. I did know that already. Um... But yeah, that's you'll notice how in the beginning well, they, they applaud like crazy when Kramer comes in. And then as time yeah. goes along, it's like you can practically see someone running out in front of the studio audience and being like, shut the hell up, shut like, the waving fuck. their arms like, stop it. We're got to get out of the show. But no, this this is hilarious to me. Just the philosophy of this level. So we got this empty space right here. Uh, and it gives you a, 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 a feather so that you can get the thing. But if you lose the power somehow, it leaves you the pit so you can commit suicide. <laughs> Isn't that... <laughs> that's dark. I know. That's what I'm saying. It's like it, it, a very Japanese sounding concept to me. It's like... If you do, if you lose the power up, you commit seppuku. And <laughs> that's what I... Yes, exactly. That's what, I, what I'm getting at. It's like that, that's... You're oh, shame to your family and you were going to run out of time anyway. See, they got back at me there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll pick this one up next time uh, on Boozy Plays. Uh, yeah, thanks for coming out. I still don't know how to end these episodes. Hey! <laughs> Hoochie Mama! I'm taking over for you there. <laughs>